Another great session here at the m and Symposium just wrapped up. You see the crowd walking by. There's like 800 people in this room today, huge. If you're not here at the m and Symposium this year, make sure to mark your calendar for next year. All right, I'm here with Kevin Lancaster from Channel Program. Kevin came over to say with ID Agent. Everybody knows Kevin. Thank you for being here today, man. Thank you. I had a blast today. Thanks. Yeah, Kevin, first I'd like to hear what you thought about the panel today. You were on a panel with, with a bunch of MSPs. Love to hear how it went. Well, yeah, I think the unique thing about this panel is that you had some really interesting perspectives. You had Tim Conkle from The 20 talking about how he's rolled up and created something like, yeah, I think he's up to like 33 different acquisitions. You know, Will Slappy talking about organically growing an MSP and acquiring MSPs. Now he's obviously done extremely well, and Kevin Dagmani, he's done you know something similar. He's rolling them up, and I think the audience got a lot of value out of, of hearing their approach and, and how they're you know looking for MSPs and ultimately what this marketplace is going to look like in the next 10 years. Awesome, and tell us a little bit about Channel Program. You guys are here at Kaseya Connect Global here. Yeah, well, so we built a platform. It's a free marketplace for MSPs to come in, and first step is to, just to help them in, visualize their technology stack. I mentioned on the uh, panel that the average MSP, whether they know it or not, they're working with roughly 72 different technologies. And so we built a front end that allows them to come in, start adding in the vendors that they're working with, visualize maybe the gaps in their technology stack, and then they can follow that up by adding in their contracts, you know, start dates, end dates, renewals, and so really try to build a platform that allows MSP to you know, more quickly mature, because this marketplace is maturing fast, private equity's coming in, there's all these roll-ups, and MSPs really have to know their numbers, and our platform helps them do that. Well, thanks, Kevin, for being a sponsor. Thanks for being part of the M&A Symposium. We'll see you on the floor. And uh, one more, I got to ask you a tough question here. Two bald guys, Matt Solomon or Mike Brooks, who's the better interviewer? Matt who? You heard it here, folks. All right, I'm here in M&A Alley with the lovely and talented Will Slappy from IT Voice. Will, thanks for being here, man. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Great to see you. Good, and meet in person for the first time. So. Exactly. We, we, if you haven't seen the episode we did of M&A Unpacked, you got to go check that out. But Will, tell us about IT Voice and what you do. Yeah, so uh, IT Voice, uh, we're a platform company. Uh, we've done 18 acquisitions to date. And uh, one of the things I think that's probably a little bit unique about us is the fact that we've got multiple lines of business. So some of those that are doing roll-ups um, are primarily just in the IT space, which is great and wonderful. Um, but we've got, in addition to the traditional managed IT MSP space, we also have our own private cloud. Uh, we have our voice division. Uh, we have our security division. Um, and so, you know, we were able to do um, more opportunity for growth after the fact. So a lot of the companies that we have acquired uh, love the story um, when they tell their customers is like, hey, look, you know I've been doing great with you with IT, but now I can do so much more uh, than just IT. Um, and so they can come in and be able to upsell those customers with additional services uh, that ultimately, you know, our goal is to make it easier for the customer. And so it's like, look, when you when you don't have to worry about obviously all the IT things and, and how, you know, you as an MSP wrap your arms around it, but now it's like, hey, you can do the same with the internet. You can do the same with their voice solution. You can do the same with all the cloud services and it just makes it that much more reduced vendor fatigue, which is what so many of us bring to value to our customers. Love it. And Will, what do you? What, what's your big takeaway from today, from the panels and the things you you were on a panel just recently? Yeah, man, there was a. I loved Fred's presentation uh, that he did this morning. Lots of good takeaways from there. You know, I think one of the things that's probably the most interesting was we all think about the industry consolidating. But Fred really pointed out the fact that the industry is actually continuing to grow because there's more new MSPs that are being founded than there are ones being consolidated at like a three to one ratio, which I thought was pretty uh, pretty interesting. So I think that was a, that was a good find. Um, I thought a lot of uh, Fred's points that he made in terms of what you can do to get your business ready uh, was really great. Um, you know, reducing the cost, you know, like I know because has got profit fuel. We've used that, others have used that. You know, every dollar that you put to the bottom line um, let's just say you're selling at a 5X, that's 5X on those dollars that you get in your pocket on a sale. So, you know, there's basically three things, like this is what I talked on the panel, three things that I mentioned, um, top three things that you can do getting ready uh, to sell. And even if you're not gonna sell 
real soon. It still adds value to your bottom line in the meantime. One, look at your cost structure, right? And that's where something like Profit Fuel can be able to help you to simplify your stack, um, reduce the actual hard cost on the products that you spend. Um, but also, like if you use the Kaseya platform and you get more on the same stack, then all of a sudden now you get the integrations and the efficiencies that will then reduce the amount that you spend on labor. And so that becomes a big value add, especially as buyers look at you. Um, so you got the reduction on that side. And then the other corresponding one is on the pricing. Um, a lot of MSPs do not automatically escalate their pricing. Sometimes they have people that they've been doing business for five or 10 years and they haven't adjusted uh, the pricing and the market price is higher. And so look at where the market pricing is and adjust your pricing upward. Every dollar that you charge more to a customer goes straight to the bottom line and increases your exit value. Uh, most MSPs on average can afford to increase their prices by 10% and not lose any customers. So just think, if you're at a 15% EBITDA percentage right now and you increased by 10%, like that's not quite double, but you've almost doubled the value of your MSP in just that one action. Um, and then the third thing that I tell people is contracts. And there's a couple of things with contracts. Get under a long-term contract. Um, and what that means is not only multi-year, but also don't have one of those stupid, you can get out anytime with a 30 day notice sort of things that sometimes people have in there. Um, and then make sure your contracts are assignable. Uh, I can't tell you the number of deals that we've had um, and, and people I've talked to as well in the industry, they've had deals that have, that have either almost not gone through or not gone through or took a deduction in price because their contracts were not assignable, which means that now when you sell your business, you have to call and get a form signed by every customer that that's, they consent to having it assigned. And it's very easy to avoid that by simply having a clause in the contract that just says, hey, this contract can be assigned without consent. So like add literally that that one little sentence to your contracts and then when you go to sell you don't have the buyer saying hey we have this issue or hey we got to get your top five customers and you need to call them and get consent before we close that can be a disaster for a lot of MSPs and so um, make sure you got good contracts uh, as my friend Tim mentioned in the panel today don't just borrow the contract from your friend uh, who runs an MSP like get a legit MSA that's been well thought through. And if you do borrow one, borrow one from somebody like me or Tim that's a little bit farther down the line and have thought through a lot of those things. Love it. And thank you, Will, for being here. It's great to meet you in person. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to check out all the great vendors here at MA Alley at the MA Pre Day at Casaya Connect Global. See you on the next one.